Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to learn the parts of a computer. Now we all know that computer is made up of different parts. Here we can see the computer setup is made up of different parts. Now let's see what are the different parts of a computer. Now here we can see one part which looks just like a TV screen. Okay, this is known as the monitor. This is known as the monitor. Okay. It looks like a TV screen. The CPU uses the monitor to show us photos, movies, games, etc. which appear on the screen. Now on this screen, what all we can see? We can see the photos, movies and games. Now this monitor operates with the help of CPU. Okay. And using the CPU, it shows us photos, movies, games, etc. Okay. So remember this part is known as the monitor and it looks just like a tv screen okay now this is the second part of the computer that is the cpu cpu is known as central processing unit cpu is called as central processing unit central processing unit means this is the unit which processes all the information that we are giving to a computer it analyzes the information and then it shows it on the monitor okay now it is the most important part of a computer it is also called as the brain of a computer because whatever input we give to the computer this cpu it analyzes that information and shows us the output so hence this is known as the brain of the computer the cpu is the brain of the computer and it is the most important part of a computer the CPU is called as central processing unit. Okay, central processing unit. Now it controls the other parts of a computer. You should remember all the other parts of the computer are connected to the CPU. Such as the monitor, the mouse, the keyboard, all the parts are connected to the computer. So hence this CPU controls all the other parts of the computer. Remember this and CPU is known as the brain of the computer. Okay. Now the other parts of the computer need to be connected to the CPU for them to work. Okay. Now next part is the keyboard. Okay. Here you can see this is a keyboard on which there are different keys. Okay. Now a keyboard is made up of small buttons called keys. These buttons are known as keys. Okay. Now, each key has a number, letter, symbol or a word written on it. Here you can see there are alphabet keys, there are number keys. Okay, there are also symbols on it. Okay, so it has numbers, letters, symbols or words written on it. Now, you can type the word on the screen of the monitor using a keyboard. Now, what is the use of this keyboard? It is used to type words on the screen of the monitor okay we are going to type anything using the keyboard okay now the next part is mouse or a touchpad when we are using a desktop computer remember that we use a mouse to operate it but in laptops you might have seen here there is a small touchpad present on it okay so in a in laptop we operate using this touchpad whereas when we use a desktop computer we operate using a mouse Okay, a mouse is used to point to and select the items shown on the monitor. Now here, this mouse is used to point towards something, okay, and to select items shown on the monitor. Now a mouse usually has two or three buttons and a small wheel between them, okay. See here, there is a left button, there is a right button and there is a small wheel between it. This wheel is used to scroll the screen, okay. Laptops have a touchpad which does all the functions of a mouse. Now in laptops, there is already an inbuilt touchpad. So we can use this as a mouse. Okay. There is also a left key button and a right key button. Okay. Now this is a photo of a printer. Okay. A printer is used to print the pictures or documents. Okay. Now when we give any instruction to the printer, it prints the documents or the pictures. Okay. Now this is a picture of a scanner. The scanner is a device that optically scans images, printed text, 
handwriting or an object and converts it to a digital image. Now here you can see this small gap. Now here in this gap we can place any photo or any image or any notes and then when we give the instruction of scanning it scans the document okay and it converts it into a digital image. So this is the function of a scanner. Now these are the speakers. We can listen to songs on a speaker. Okay, you might be having this in the home. From this we, we can listen songs. Okay, from a speaker. Nowadays laptops have inbuilt speakers. Now in some laptops there are already inbuilt speakers. But previously for desktop computers we used to have speakers like this. Okay, thank you everyone. I hope you understood the parts of the computer.